Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and good morning on this fine Thursday morning. Hopefully you're all doing good. I am not late, Mr. Tummy Giggles. What is happening is that I always like to be very careful when there is an embargo in place. I am very respectful of embargoes. So sometimes I'll even give it like an extra minute just to make sure that nothing goes wrong. That is the way that it works. We are on PlayStation 5. By the way, I bought a new controller. I bought the black version because my other controller was giving me snapback real bad. And I feel like I already felt a couple of snapbacks on this one too. And it's like, bro, it's a brand new controller. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, for those of you wondering, yes, the game does release tomorrow, but because of time zones and all of that crazy shenanigans, the game is releasing right now, I believe, in uh, New Zealand or Australia or whatever. You know, down under, the game is already, uh, is already released. That is why we are allowed to stream at this point in time. Naturally, I got my copy from Capcom. They were kind enough to provide me with a code for the PlayStation 5 so that I could check it out, do a couple of videos. I have another uh, tips video, which is going to be going live after this stream as well. So yeah. The, um, we're going to be doing Gunlands. I actually just unlocked the, the high rank. So we're going to be jumping into high rank. Uh, I believe that Jono said that he might join me at some point. If he does, we'll jump back and we'll do a couple of uh, low rank quests. But this is going to be interesting because I'm going to jump into high rank with low rank gear. I have used the Defender um, weapon though, which makes things considerably faster, like way too fast. I'm not a huge fan of that for brand new players. You know, keep that in mind. Red Devil, thank you very much for being grossly with us for 13 months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support and for all the support, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Can we set our PS5s to Australian time? I don't think so. I don't think that works. You'd need to have like an Australian account and probably buy it on your Australian account. It's not worth it. It really is not worth it. Question, do you know if Game Pass version can multiplay with Steam version, so PC with PC? Uh, I don't know. I don't see why it... Well... I don't know if it depends on whether it's Capcom server or Steam servers. So yeah, I don't know. Sal out should be doing the grind for the third time. Yes, sure. Uh, also, there was another question. Piotr Bokzon. I'm very interested and never played Monster the Rise and considering picking up the hunting horn. Is it a good choice for someone with a healer support player mentality? Yes, it is. It is a very good weapon for support, though. Do not become a corner horner. Like, actually go in there and hit the monsters. Because a lot of people sometimes have a tendency to become corner horners. Which is basically like, you're just like, dooting your melodies far away from the action. Don't do that. Get in there and actually beat up on stuff, you know? Alright. Now, uh, let's go ahead eat some food. I haven't been using the the tickets yet but eventually i will have to where's bombardier you're quite welcome at you photo are the weapon balances from sunbreak here no no this is the patch right before sunbreak sunbreak stuff is not included in this patch at all even weapon balancing and I kind of, I was thinking about that the other day, and I feel like the reasoning behind that is because the Sunbreak, the Sunbreak balance for the weapons was done with the thought of all of the new Silkmine moves and all of that stuff, and all of the changes to all of the weapons with the new moves that they got. That's when it was done. So I kind of feel like in a way it makes sense, even though I would like to see those changes, but yeah. It is uh, version 10.0000.001. I think it was one, but I th there was a patch today, so they might have actually increased it. Let me check real quick. 
actually is 10.000.002. But it doesn't have like the one wire bug thing, so, you know. Just before sun breaks, so there's layered armor? Yes. Is this going to be a story run through or just snippets kind of deal? No, it's not a story run through. I'm just like, I'm playing through the game. I've done like three story run throughs in the channel, I feel like. We're not doing another one. This is mostly, if you guys are curious about, like, what the game runs like on PS5, you can see it here. And if you have any questions, I'll be able to answer those as well. But we're mostly just going to be playing the game. Oh, crap. I forgot to change my pedal ace. Because I do have a new pedal ace, I believe. Oh, it updated automatically. How nice. But to be honest, I think I'm going to go strength. Strength pedalies. Which graphic settings are you using? Custom resolution or frame rate? I'm using custom. Uh, I have everything maxed out, with the exception of dynamic shadows, I think. But even with dynamic shadows, I didn't really experience too much difference. Yeah, I have dynamic shadows off. <clears throat> but apart from that, everything is maxed out. Uh, these things that you see here is off is like motion blur and shit like that. I don't want that. I do have depth of field on, because I want to try it out. But yeah, image quality maxed out. On PC, you could go up to 150. On PS5, you're limited to 125. That's the main difference. Everything else, we just maxed it out. Can you get the stuff layered weapon pack on consoles? Uh, I don't think you can get that yet. I actually don't know which DLC is available. I don't think you can see it in game. I'd have to go to like the store. Wait. Uh, I don't think it's even up yet because the game is not up in my in my store, so I wouldn't be able to see it. Hey, Randall McDowell, what's up? Oh yeah, I gotta start picking up. Um, I gotta start picking up ores again because I'm in high rank now. What's your favorite clade class of monster? Uh, probably the flying wyverns. It's a basic bitch answer, but... Flying wyverns is... Fly, flying wyverns is my jam. Gather all the things again. Yes. Oh nice, they're about to meet with each other, which is gonna be useful. Cause like, at the start of high rank, our damage is gonna kinda suck. Although with the Defender weapon, like, the Defender weapon right now is even more powerful than one of the best gun lances in the game at this tier. PS5 got full patch prior to Sunbreak, right? Yup. As a matter of fact, it even has a couple of Sunbreak features, so I don't know how many of you guys remember, but back in, back in base rise, you know, you have your photo mode, right? Everybody remembers photo mode? You couldn't do this. You couldn't hide your UI when you were in photo mode. That's one of the things that I instantly noticed. I was like, oh. So it has a couple of quality of life sunrise things. It also has the, the thing where you can turn off auto mount. Uh, where was it? Player action settings. I forget where the, is it game settings? The mount thing? Where's the controls? Oh, here it is. Button for wyvern riding. Attack or, or circle. I have it for attack or circle, but you can swap it just the circle. Which I believe it was a sunbreak thing. That instant wall running to the base game after sunbreak came out. Yeah, we have that. We have that too. So it's got some sunbreak things. But it doesn't have, like, the weapon balancing or anything like that. Third Fleet Podcast with PS5 version banter. Good luck convincing Gaijin. Gaijin is done with Monster Hunter Rise. 
He's like, yep, I'll come back when the next Monster Hunter rolls around, and until then, I'm just playing Final Fantasy XIV. That's all he does. No skill swap, I assume? Of course not. That's a Sunbreak feature. That wouldn't make sense. Wonder why they haven't released the whole pack base plus Sunbreak. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of, of that either. I wish they would have uh, come out with Sunbreak. It would make sense. Right now I'm actually playing, oh my god, already? I'm actually playing Stake Spam. That was a snapback right there. I don't know what it is about the way that I play. I'm not too rough on my controllers or anything. I don't know why I fall victim to snapback so much. How are you enjoying Switch Axe? I mean, Switch Axe in Monster Hunter Rise is one of the most fun weapons. Uh, I don't really play it much. I played it for my guides and that was about it. But it is a ton of fun. Highly recommend. The only weapon that I have a hard time recommending in Monster Hunter Rise is the Lance. I think Lance got done dirty, personally. I don't like this iteration of Lance at all. To need a um, guard reload to properly play stake spam. I still have muscle memory for reverse blast dash, so that'll happen often. so epic if I landed that one mid-air.
call your buddies. Because you're going to die here alone today. Bonk. Poorly aimed. Bonk. Did they fix the input buffer? I never had too many problems with input buffer on um, on Rise personally. Dude isn't even skill swapping. Yeah. <laughs> The sunbreak memes. All that sunbreak energy. Well, bear in mind that uh, when the game comes out on when sunbreak comes out on consoles, you won't be able to have that anymore. So take advantage of it now. <laughs> How I miss Guard's Edge. Uh, personally, I prefer. I prefer reverse blast dash. I think it's more fun. Bloop. Great Izuchi down. I should have collected more ore nodes, but I'll probably just do that in the in the lava thing when there's like ore nodes uh, galore. Another banger Rurikon speedrun. Bro! Literally running in unupgraded low rank gear. Give me a break. <laughs> My poor little palicos. <clears throat> I just skipped the falling animation when I'm baked now. What? Skip the falling animation. You mean wirefall? Is that what you're talking about? Does the game come out later? Uh, game comes out tomorrow, Ren. Can you try multiplayer when the game releases so we can see how big the player base is on PlayStation side? Sure. guessing PC is staying as your main save. Bro, I'm actually considering going back to my Switch save, dude. I miss I miss playing on my Switch. For a lot of people like I hear everybody always trashing the Switch like, "Oh my god. Uh, the frame rate. Uh, oh, I can't do it anymore." I'm just like, "It's not that bad. It's really not that bad." Can't relate. Uh, let's go for mushrooms, plants, ores, this. So I don't think I'll be able to craft any of the things that I want to yet. Where can this game have a different learning curve for Monster Hunter World? Uh, yeah, it's easier. It's way easier to learn this game than Monster Hunter World. Let's put it like this. Easier to start playing the game but the skill ceiling is potentially a little bit higher because the weapons are a little bit more complex. So yeah. <laughs> Only problem I have with the Switch is Joy-Cons. Oh. Why didn't you try a different weapon this playthrough? I can, but I just like playing Gunlance. It's like, dual blades bores me. Longsword is too easy. I'm not good at Greatsword, and I'm not a huge fan of playing Greatsword. I can already play Sword and Shield just fine. I hate Lance. Uh, Hammer is okay. Hunting Horn's okay. Switch X is really good. I was thinking maybe playing Insect Glaive. And Charge Blade I still play. There's already like a playthrough of Charge Blade. The w only weapon that I would entertain that I would do different... Uh, today would have been the insect glaive. Dude. 
why the land slander? I'm not slandering it. I don't like it. I don't like lance and rise uh, that slap move that they added i hate it i can't stand it the insta block the frames on it and rise i don't know if the frames are improved on this one or if it, that only comes when sunbreak arises but like the frames on insta block i thought were terrible the way that um the what was it called the the block thing that you could do the way that it worked based on the amount of knockback that you received, therefore kind of like negating benefit of guard when you were playing with a lance. I was like, what? Twin vines? Do I need to say anything about twin vines? Good God. Like, what What do you mean slander? <laughs> I'm not slandering the weapon. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, sun, Sunbreak I heard is better, but like base rise... I, dude, I could, that's the one weapon that I would never recommend anybody. <sighs> yeah, 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 I, th I think that in, I think that in, in Sunbreak it's much better. But yeah, anyway, uh, let me see here. I would actually like to buy this with gold, but it looks like I can't. It looks like they're letting me just make a full set. What do we get with like chainmail, botanist, defense boost, flinch free guard one? Um, it'll probably have to be like a mix of Kimura and Izuchi for now. Uh, which one of Kimura's gives me the most wirebug whisper? It's gonna be the chest. Ooh, the belt also gives. So I can have three wirebug whisper if I craft belt plus chest. That is really good. I think I'll take that. Yes. This. Give me this. Uh, what is this? Hunter quick sheath. Uh, we'll do these for now. The thing that I really need to do is basically get my ass to Sandy Plains. That's gonna take a bit. Twin Vine Sunbreak's okay, dude. I hate Twin Vine. I don't like Twin Vine at all. Um. So we need five of them, so we're going to need to do one, two, three, four, all of these. Okay, we'll start with Kezu. Start with the Kezu. Yeah, we're not going to use Dango tickets yet. It's insane to me that you are starting a new game. Cross-save needs to be a thing in the future. I can tell you that what I've been told is that the team has heard the message loud and clear that people really wanted cross-save cross and cross-play. Uh, Starting over in a Monster Hunter game you've already played. It's like, I'm not starting over. I'm just playing a little bit on PlayStation 5. Uh, so that people can see what it's like. And, you know, hopefully help people decide whether or not they think this is going to be interesting for them. You go on full playthrough Gunlands? I'm not even sure I'm doing full playthrough. I'm just playing. Right now I'm just playing. Just hanging out. Work on fighting cowboy band and Twitch will stay on YouTube as well. Just asking on where to support you. It's like I haven't abandoned Twitch. It's more so that like last year I spent a lot of time working on my side projects and stuff, and I kind of neglected my <clears throat> my main channel quite a bit. And I feel like that was unfair for a lot of people that were supporting me on here, since this is my main channel. Uh, I'm gonna be focusing a lot more on this channel this year. That's not to say that I won't do the occasional Twitch stream, but this is my main thing right here, this channel. Where kind of the co-op easy to set up in this game, attending to do a co-op rise playthrough when it launches tomorrow. Yeah, it's pretty easy. You can instantly start and go do uh, hub quests. There's still an advantage to not, not really an advantage, but there's still some requests that you will have to do on Village, which is single player only. But a majority of the game can just straight up be played on the hub. And co-op is super easy. 
It's nothing like Word at All where in World you guys needed to like, oh, I need to go watch the cutscene and then you need to send the, then I need to send an SOS and then you need to join me or you send the SOS and I join you. It's not like that at all. Like that problem has been completely fixed. And this one, you can from the get-go pretty much jump into the hub and start hunting. You don't even need to do, as far as I'm aware, you don't even need to do a single, wait, wait, no, I think there's a tutorial hunt that you have to do solo, but it's like, it's super quick. It's just like, oh, come here, turn your camera, ride my dog, blah, 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 and then you're done. Wait, why am I coming over here? I was supposed to go get Kezu. With co-op missions for both parties, or would you need to repeat them on each person's account? They count for both parties. This isn't Dark Souls. Although I don't know, I think the urgent quests you still have to do multiple times, though I don't remember. Do you need to do urgent quests multiple times, guys? Where can does it launch? Today? It launches on your midnight uh, regional equivalent. As far as I'm aware. So whenever is midnight for you is whenever the game's gonna launch. Urgents are once? Okay, so yeah, you can do everything just once. Not even the urgents you need to do multiple times. Questions, the PS4 and PS5 have different lobbies or can someone in PS4 join a PS5 player? I don't know. Because most of the people that I play with by now have a PS5. So I don't know. Theoretically, it should be possible, but Sony is weird with that stuff. Do you recommend the default graphical settings for PS5? I'd recommend just maxing it out, to be honest. Because, like, I didn't notice that much of a performance hit when I max it out. You go to custom, max everything out. It was fine. Damn, he mad. I think Kazu is going to have a lot of HP for our current damage, but... At least it'll be interesting for you guys. Kazu's team is still one hell of a beat though, right team? Yeah, his team goes hard, dude! Will it have crossplay between Xbox and PlayStation? No. They confirmed that you can crossplay on PS4 and PS5. You can also transfer it. Yeah, transferring the save, I know that they confirmed. Which, to be honest, that's another thing that makes me wonder. Well, if you've just, if you've made, uh, you know, code to transfer your save, why, why can't people just transfer, like, their PC and Switch saves? You literally made the code. It can't be that different. <laughs> As someone who has once transferred his uh, Borderlands 2 save file to a PlayStation 3, trust me, it ain't rocket science. It can be done. And I didn't have to hack my PS3 to do it either. Oh, he fell asleep. Isn't that a damn shame? Did I bring bombs? I didn't. Rip. <clears throat> so what are we gonna do here? Am I gonna wait? No, I'm not gonna wait. Screw that. I'm gonna slap him. Pow! Uh-oh. Still landed it. <clears throat> gonna go ahead and call that worth. 
our QA as a video games tester and it differs a little. I mean, a little, you're, you're not, of course it differs a little, but it can't, I don't believe it can be that hard. I really don't. Going to try and set Glaive for Series X. Gunlance, Gunlance looks fun, though. Gunlance is a ton of fun. Inset Glaive is also very good. Like I said, I might, I might play some Glaive today as well, guys. Maybe for a little bit, I'll play some Glaive. I think that could be fun. Because I really like, like, the new Kinsects that they've done and stuff. They're pretty cool. Ooh. Or, right, I gotta, I gotta keep tabs on Or because we're in high rank now. I think the biggest thing, Dip King, <clears throat> is the um, is going to be the purchases that people have done, and I think that that is the biggest holdup. Personally, where the hell did Kezu go? Kezu just came in here, slapped this poor boy, and then left. Nah, Kezu, you're gonna get the crane kick. Ta-da! Wada! Nobody expects these crane kicks, bruh. Look, look, look. Wada! Wada! Friggin' Bruce Lee. Wada! Hey, bruv, what's up? All right, these need guard up. Ooh. No guard up yet. Can I even craft it, I wonder? Bro, he's going ham on those lightning. Dang. Is it my turn yet? <clears throat> Boom. Oh my god. Where's the roaring hitbox? I think it's somewhere in the neck. Should I play Monster Hunter World First Arise? World. <clears throat> I mean, it also depends on if you've played Monster Hunter before or not. Because, like, Rise is easier to start than World. Also, let me check on this real quick, because uh, I didn't open up stream elements. Second. Professional streamer, by the way. I'm a professional here. You know what I mean? Professional. I put way too much honey in this tea. I'm like having a honey overdose right now. Let's see here. Carlito, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Keep going. Love the content. Our views mostly align when it comes to microtransactions. Your streams are good company when grinding monster and other games. Thank you. Thank you very much, Carlito. Let's get this going. Oh, God. Damn it. Oh no! Oh no! Woo! 
Bro, we're about to have an A Zeus moment right here. No. Really, do you have a bullet barrage spam build? Not on PlayStation 5, because Sunbreak's not out yet. Why... Why are people saying that they think Rise failed in sales? What? You guys crazy? Failed in sales? It was wildly successful. What are you talking about? What? Bro, Rise was wildly successful. Lost all respect for Zeus when he quit like that? No, there's... You, should, you shouldn't... Listen. <clears throat> you shouldn't lose respect for someone because they rage quit a game. You, sh you shouldn't do that. It's like, look, you don't know if he had something else going on. Because, like, let me tell you, as a streamer, sometimes there are some things that happen in a video game that is just the wrong thing at the wrong time. It happens. And you rage quit. And in a lot of ways, sometimes doing that is better than forcing it. It's just that simple. Like, listen, sometimes it's the wrong thing at the... Like, I've rage quit um, the um, that Neo DLC, you guys remember? Like, all that time ago? I hated that mechanic so much that I'm like, yep. I'm gonna play this again. I finished the level as like as like um, a pride thing. I'm like, I'm not gonna let you beat me. I'm gonna beat you and then I'm gonna ditch you. But yeah, I, I quit it because of that. I damn near quit the Ringed City DLC. He called the game and fans up. Never take, you can't take, listen, you can't take that too seriously. He didn't call people bad names. What I remember him saying is, uh, this game is garbage, and if you like this game, you like garbage games. It was something like that that he said. It's like, in a moment of, um, in a moment that someone is, you know, they're upset, especially like online, you can't take them that literally. That's the way that I look at things. As someone with experience and in, in having those feelings. Nowadays, I control myself a lot more when it comes to having those types of explosions. But in, in the past, I could see myself saying something like that. I thought it was actually funny because he was like, how do I turn off this console? <laughs> <laughs> and listen, by the way, before anybody quotes me out of context, I love Jesus. He's a super nice guy. I like his streams. I like his stuff. I think he does good content. I mean, again, I just thought it was funny at that time how he was just like pressing the buttons like, how do I turn this thing off? <laughs> I, think, I think he also wanted to like uninstall and couldn't figure that out either. He's just like, sleep mode. Ah. <laughs> I remember your Metroid Dread anger moments. That was a controller thing. That is completely different. Carlito, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. But it's like, listen, that was a controller thing. That is a completely different thing. Because, like, I have problems with controllers. $2 for wishing um, level 9 shelling. I don't think we need level 9 shelling. I just think we need... Um, we just need better mechanics for the weapon, but I don't know what those mechanics could be. Slamiron, thank you very much for uh, the souls, though. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Does this game have individual zone loading like the Switch, or is it seamless like world? It's seamless like world. And the Switch, the Switch doesn't have individual zone loading for Monster Hunter Rise. It has individual zone loading for Generation Ultimate, not Rise. Uh, ooh, Buddy Plaza. From my paws to your pocket. With all due honesty, Rise won't sell well on Xbox because it's on Game Pass. 
while being on Game Pass doesn't necessarily count as like a full-fledged sale, you think that Capcom doesn't get money because their game is on Game Pass? That would be a very unsustainable... That would be a very unsustainable business model. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Of course they're gonna make money because it's on Game Pass. <laughs> Come on, dude. They're gonna make a lot of money on Xbox. Of course they're gonna make a lot of money on Xbox. <clears throat> Why do you think Game Pass is so successful? You think they're not paying developers? You think it's like, yep, yeah, we're gonna put your game on Game Pass and developers are like, oh no! <laughs> we're not gonna make any money! <laughs> no, of course not. Of course they're gonna make money. That'd be the worst business model, most unsustainable business model ever. <laughs> What's next? Must on VR? I hope not, because VR technology is nowhere near, nowhere near ready for something like Monster Hunter. <laughs> Although Microsoft has said that the business model of Game Pass is something that they're kind of like tweaking, because the numbers aren't what they want yet. I believe they have said that at some point. Don't quote me on that, but I do remember hearing something of that nature. PC or PS5, good for eyes. Or Switch. All platforms are good. If you're asking, like, which platform should you play on, my recommendation would be play wherever you have the most chance to play with friends. Whichever platform there's a better chance of you playing with friends, play there. <clears throat> That's always been my recommendation for months. Dude, my voice. <clears throat> I'm very sorry. My voice is a little bit shot because uh, I didn't get any sleep whatsoever today. Like, I, I mean, like, actual zero because my stomach's been acting up, which has also been keeping me from training, dude. It's so frustrating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You played this on the big screen, Rory? Yes, of course. I can't stream from like the um... I can't stream from uh, handheld mode. How can you play this early? Uh, Capcom sent me an early code. You been to the doctor recently, Rory? No. I just had like my my stomach just has these flare-ups every now and then keep me up at night. It's annoying as hell. Wait, I still need to kill like Zamites, dude. I still haven't killed all the Zamites. I need to check if they're around. And there's also something that I need. There's the... No, it's the Bismuth Prism, so it's not here. I need the Bism Bismuth Prism and the Desert Stuff for the third submarine. Thank you very much, Resilient Warriors Gaming. Appreciate it, dude. Would love Monster Hunter Rise and Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Dude. That'd be so good. That'd be friggin' amazing. 4K 60 FPS perfectly. I don't think it's... I'm not sure if it's 4K or not. Unfortunately, I do not have the Digital Foundry tools, and they don't say... They don't specifically say if this is 4K or not, so I don't... 100%. Well, I guess I could check, like, the... Monitor uh, info. Let me see if I can figure it out. We'll probably... Well, I think the problem is PlayStation always outputs 4K... Um, picture, custom crap. This one doesn't even say. This monitor doesn't even say. <clears throat> Which is unfortunate. So I don't actually know. I, I suspect it's 1440p. If I had to take a guess... Uh, but there's no actual way of telling. PS5 and Series X has the 4K, the rest don't. Okay. 
Well, if it is 4K, then yes, I do believe this is pretty much smooth 60. Although I do have dynamic shadows off, like I said. But it doesn't feel too different from when I play 1440p on PC, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about all that. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to check on the Zamites. Why is there like only one Zamite in this whole goddamn map most of the time, bro? Crank up the Zamites! I need more Zamites. Like, look, there's one here. And sometimes there'll be a couple of them, like, in the... Oh, so you're still alive? Oh, right, this is high rank. Bro, die! Jesus. Depends if it has it in uh, 120 Ertz. I don't think it does. I don't think there's an option for that. Maybe you can force it? Yeah, there's no option for, like, 120. But maybe you'll be able to force it. Because uh, PlayStation now has a uh, 120 Hz thing that you can kind of force. Oh, did it just increase in size? This Zamite grew. Uh, let's go check the other areas that you sometimes find them in, just to see if they're there, but... <clears throat> usually they're not. I, ra I rarely interact with Zamites in, in Rise, so... That's why I, that surprised me. Here's a tip for all of you newcomers, though. See these crystal lizards? You can press circle to just loot them, but you shouldn't. You should hit them three times instead. Because then you get three pieces of loot instead of one. If you just loot them, you only get one piece of loot. But like this, we got way more. So it doesn't look like we have any Zamites here. Hey, did I think that this zone has like... That Zamite spawn and that's it. I swear, I rarely see Zamites anywhere else. Does anybody know if there's another zone where Zamites hang out in? <clears throat> Never knew that lizard trick? Well, you live and you learn. There's Zamites here? No. I think that there's another zone that there's Zamites in, which is... I thought it was in here, right? No. Oh, yep, yeah, there is. Zone 11 or 12? Okay, I'll have to check that. monster are we even hunting? Uh, it's probably Lagombi. Ugh, Lagombi's annoying. So 11 or 12 have it. 8 we already did. Okay, we'll check, uh, we'll check 11 or 12. But yeah, just so that you guys know, this, this zone here, which this, it's like a little four thing that also has the occasional spawn. I feel like the Zamites are always the hardest ones to find. Because <clears throat> I've done this quest like this is the third time now. Zamites are always the hardest ones. What's your least ma favorite monster to fight with Gun Lance and Rise? Violet Mizu? No, Violet Mizu is easy. Uh, probably the, the snakes, the elder snakes, Ibushi and Narwa. Those, I think, are the most annoying ones to fight with Gunlance. 
to the point where I remember at one point in Rise, I was trying to optimize a Gunlance build to kill Narwa. And the best way to kill Narwa was to play Slaplance. And I was like, well, that's a, that's a very good indicator of how bad things are. <laughs> That's a pretty good indicator of how bad that fight is for Gunlance mains. <laughs> or Somnicanth is annoying, but it's not like the end of the world. Monster Hunter World is harder alright, it's different also, I heard. Uh I guess the final wyverns are harder, like Alatreon, Fatalis, those are harder, but other than that, I think anomalies can actually get harder than... But it's a different type of difficulty because you have so many movement options, and also it, there are certain weapons that are heavily biased in this game, so yeah. If there's one thing I'd like to see in Monster Hunter games, is bow guns being brought in line. It gets old how overpowered bow guns are in every single monster iteration, even though I don't like to talk about it that much because I don't play those weapons, so I can't... I can't, like, explain my thought process all that well, but you just, like, you look at videos of people using those weapons, like, bruh, monster's not even moving, my guy. Come on. Have a little mercy. Lord have mercy, you know. Did you say Elatran Fatalis? Dude, listen. Did you hear the part earlier where I said I haven't slept this this evening at all? Instead, I was lying in bed with acute stomach pain. Did you hear that part? I'm going to be a little bit incoherent. Yeah, I still think World is prop... And here's the interesting thing. The more I've thought of it over the years, I feel like Monster Hunter World, like, base world, is my favorite Monster Hunter game. Because Iceborne introduced the Clutch Claw and Wyvern Stake Blast. And over the years, I've grown to not like Wyvern Stake Blast at all. Like, I hate Wyvern Stake Blast. And I'm not the biggest fan of Clutch Claw either. So, yeah. I don't like the wirebug skills make the game too easy. Uh, I don't mind the wirebug skills. The one that I that I would remove if I could would be wirefall. I would remove wirefall from this game. See you later, Ark. Have a good one, dude. Let's see if we can score one more. Yep, here he is. One more Zamite. We're done with that quest. Benzies. Would you wish for the next monster to be open world? I kind of feel like I've gone back and forth on that position. Because, like, you know, I talked about that in the podcast. And I'm like, yeah, might be cool. Maybe not. Lately, I'm leaning more towards not. I feel like there's too many open world games. Everybody wants to have an open world game, and very few people actually know what to do with it. I can see Capcom actually being reasonable at having an open world game. Let's put it like this. I'm kind of neutral. If it's open world, I'll give it a look. We'll see what it's like, and then I'll judge it based on its own merits. If it's not open world, I'm not going to be like, oh my god. It's 2024, I can't believe, or 2025, whatever. I can't believe it's not open world yet. It's like, I don't think a game needs to be open world to be fun. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I liked the most about Crisis Core was the fact that it was not an open world game. That it was mission structured, even. Like, in order for it to be an interesting open world, you'd need a map like the Grinding, la grinding Lands, but like 10 times bigger. Give or take. In order for it to make sense, I feel like. 
Uh, so I already got them, so I just gotta go kill, um, the Gombi. Where's deep down, Capcom? It's deep down. Deep down in the trash! <laughs> hey! In Monster Hunter World, I hate running around the entire map to chase freaking Rathalos to decide to run away to the highest place on the map. I hate to tell it to you, but like, that's Monster Hunter. That's kind of like what differentiates it from just having a boss fight. That's what makes it a hunt. The fact that you have to chase it throughout the map. If you take that element away, it's not really Monster Hunter anymore, it's Monster Fighter. I love tracking the monsters. I think that's actually something that we lost with Rise. Ow! Bro, stop! Get help! I did not miss fighting you, overgrown bunny. <laughs> I don't even have, um, null berries equipped yet. Light Sword and Shield and Insect Lave and Rise. On Switch, I'm going to try Gunlance on Xbox. If we had one single tip to give, what would it be? One single tip to give. Let me think. Um, one sing. If I can only give one tip for Gunlance. Oh my god! Jesus Christ. Um, okay, if I can only give you one tip. To start out, utility skills are more important than damage skills. The only damage skill that you really need to focus on is artillery and load shells. So to start out, focus more on, you know, things like evade extender. Things like a little bit of guard, guard up. That type of stuff, rather than going straight after attack up. Critical boosts, critical eye, weakness exploit. Like, focus on learning the fundamentals of the weapon first by playing with utility skills. If I can only give one tip, that would be the one that I would give you. Playing on PC right now, how can I switch between game and other programs like Chrome browser without the game going into window mode? Um, there is an option on your visual, on your display settings, to do borderless windowed. That's what you need to do. Because, yeah, I know that the game spazzes out when it goes into, like, window mode and whatnot. I personally hated World. CC made my DPS low and I had to rely on it, and I just hate it. See, that's why I said base World. You're talking about Iceborne. Clutch Claw was not in World. Well, I hope you enjoy it, dude. That's my that's my master plan. Get everybody hooked on Gunlance to force Capcom to buff it. It's gonna work too. It already worked, like it got pretty buffed in Sunbreak. I just need to get even more people so that Capcom has to buff it even more. You done? Took an energizer bunny.
Damn it. Dude, I want guard reload so bad. But I think Gunland's um, switch skills actually come pretty late. It's probably like uh, six or seven, not five. I fell asleep. Pow, riding the kisser. Come on, no! Uh, bastard! He got away. We'll get him next time, boys. Bunny guy, thank you very much for being gross and goodness for six months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support, thank you. Bro, why you use Lance? It's just poke, 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 poke. What? In here, it's not. Thanks, Reworks. Fine now. When you say Switch wasn't this bad, I understand what you mean, but comparing it on PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's very different. Yes, it's very different. But I don't think that Switch is terrible to the point where I'm like, oh, it's unplayable. Whereas I kind of feel like some people vocalize it as that. I'm just like, no, I like playing on my Switch. I enjoy it. I just really like the Switch as a platform. I'm remembering it right, you played normal for Switch and wide for PC, so it's time for long on PlayStation. No, not really. I played I played all shelling styles always. I'm probably gonna do wide on this one. The playstyle I'm doing right now is actually one that I didn't do, which is uh, steak spam. I didn't really play steak spam that much. And it's pretty fun, but it kind of gets old. The main reason I'm doing steak spam right now is because it's most efficient way right now especially with this um with this gun lance which because this is the fender gun lance they should make a separate game for pc and console I think whatever game they make should just have crossplay. That's what I think. I don't think it should be different. I need to open the windows more. I like natural light. Have I told you guys that? I feel like natural light is much cooler than light bulbs on your face. Is deco farming less of a grind in this? Uh, you craft the decorations. Let's be honest, Switch is dragging the game with its hardware. The game was literally designed for the Switch. It's the same thing as saying, well, the 3DS has been dragging games for God knows how long. It's like, that mentality 
is actually something where you need to understand. We need to understand this. If every game was made for the highest, for the like the most powerful PC in the world. Those companies would make zero money. They would not be profitable. I think uh, a large majority of people that have like really powerful PCs misunderstand the percentage of gamers that actually have a really powerful PC. And I'm speaking as someone like, I have a 6900 XT. I have a pretty good, um, you know, I, is it Ryzen 7, Ryzen 9? I have a pretty good processor. I have like 32 gigs of... Is it DDR4? I think it's DDR4. So it's like, I have a beefy rig. As someone that has a beefy rig, I have the fundamental understanding that a lot of people don't have beefy rigs. And if you just make your game for beefy rigs, it's going to be a lot of people that are not going to be able to play your game. It's that simple. Rip. Okay, we're gonna go with this bombardier and some defender low. Yeah, I want those statues, dude. You get nothing. Okay. Do we have any requests? Because I haven't checked up on requests at all. Damn. We out here completing them quests. We have either requests or rewards at the steelworks. Please. Please. No. Rip. Oh, right. It's the guy for the camp. Yeah, you're going to give me the camp. Thank you. I think I've unlocked all of the camps now. I think that's what that achievement is. Are the gunland smoke buffs in they made the sunbreak? No. No, that stuff is not in safer. I mean, there's nothing for me to do in the Shrine Ruins either, so I guess we'll do this one, then we'll do Frost Islands. Are all the event quests in? Yes. Bro, I can't craft anything yet. Uh, I forget which one's like a good tree before the guild. Is this the guild tree? Oh, this is Baroth. It should be below Canine. This is the guild tree. This is the one I want to craft. I don't know what rank I have to be to unlock that one. It's like, this is the problem with defender weapons. Like, look at this. There's no reason for me to craft any of this. Look, normal shelling level. This is the first one that matches up to a little bit. That matches up to the power of the other, of the gun lance that I was running. Wait, can I craft defender insect wave? Interesting. You can only craft defender at the start. See, I can't craft the Defender Insect Glaive. Never realized that. Oh, I can just go straight for the Nargakuga one, though. I could craft the Nargakuga Glaive. Should I, should I give you guys a little bit of glaive action? I haven't played glaive in a while. 
I've played Glaven well. Can I buy a bug? Oh, I have access to all of them already? Um, I want the... What are they called? Auto attack frequency up, dual color, dual color attack. I think this is what it was. The Carnage Beetle! Fuck yeah, dude, let's go! Carnage Beetle! <laughs> uh, let's get some crit up in here then. I don't think I can, can I? I can get Critical Eye out of Izuchi. Thing is, I'll have to... Uh, no, we'll just get a little bit of Critical Eye on the helm. Ready to equip this. I need some new gloves. Water to Ooh, two critical eye on the alloy gloves? Yeah, sure. What can I get on legs? The Hunter S would be really good. Speed sharpening and critical eye, focus, paralysis attack, jump master and critical eye. Yeah, sure, jump master. There, we just cobbled together a set. Pulled this set straight out of my ass. Um, tornado slash or Tetra Seal slash. We go with Tornado. Because I only know how to play Tornado. I don't know how to play Tetra Seal properly. Um, let me also see... Can I craft like eight of them and get the other switch skill? Which I don't even know what it is. So we upgraded... Uh, let's say one, two... No, we need one, two... Three. Uh, do I want to waste this? Feels like such a waste. Such a waste of materials. Forge with money. Upgrade. Uh, Princess Regalia, I think, will eventually be good. So we'll do this one. That'll be one, two, three. On top of the one we did, that'll be six. Upgrade. Uh, we can also forge the Legombi one. One, two, six. So we can go here, forge with money. Upgrade. That'll be seven. And then we can craft the bone tree. And there it is. Thank you very much. Advancing round slash? Really? Leaping slash and advancing round slash. Spinning for- I think that advancing round slash is cooler, right? Downward slash technique performed while lunging forward. This attack can negate knockbacks without orange asterisks. When you attack during the spin, you would use that force to jump up. I forget which one's the better one. I'll use this one for now. I haven't played this in a long time. But to give you guys just a little bit of diversity. Because I'm always playing Gunlands. So let's see, what are we hunting anyway? Aknosom? Although I just realized Aknosom's not going to be the best monster. Whoa! Not used to that particular move. Jesus. That was very sudden. I'm just trying to unlock the corn cob so that I can start doing wide shelling. Because I want to do charge shelling with the, the worm steak 
and see how interesting that would be. Because that's a playstyle that I, I didn't really do. I didn't use charge shelling at all. I want to use stake spam. What the hell? What is that? Kamura Pinwheel. Bro, I suck at navigating this interface. Um, Kamura Pinwheel. Bro, how many trophies? Is it 50 trophies? Jesus Christ. These trophies have hints and shit. Here it is. Kamura Pinwheel. Awarded for performing a thousand wire dashes. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you don't have a palamute. When you don't have a palamute, <laughs> you wire dash everywhere. Oh, this is the fastest bug. Look at him go. Look at my bug go. Bug go brrrr. He can't even catch up, the poor guy. Is the audio failing on my headset, or do you guys have it as well? I think it's only on my headset. Okay, then it's my headset that's messing up. Let me just uh, reset this then. Hopefully that'll fix it. Yeah, my headset's like bugging out. Hearing very inconsistent audio, but it's on my end then. How do PlayStation get it first? Uh, it's not PlayStation getting it first, it's... I was given a review code by Capcom. <laughs> Ow! Stop this! I have to try and use this as a counter. It's pretty cool. Quite work.
God damn it. this No, we're leaving. <laughs> Do you know we have up to Volstrax? Yes. I mean, it should have anyway. I haven't really gotten there yet, but it is my understanding that yes, it has everything that you had right before Sunbreak. The one thing that I really wish they had done was a physical version, dude. I would buy a physical version of the fully patched game instantly. Understand? Instantly get a physical version. Fortunately, it's only digital. Yep. running away limited run games might mm, I don't think so I thought limited run was mostly switch games dun, 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 dun. I should do a run with the um, with the long sword as well for giggles Just to trigger all the longsword mains. <laughs> Yo, what's up?
Dude, Greatsword and Sunbreak is absolute beast. I think it's probably the most powerful melee weapon. It's probably not even close. Some of the stuff I've seen people do with Greatsword and Sunbreak is so disgusting. Did you like Forspoken? I didn't like the demo, no. But I did request the code. I was very honest about it. I told them, hey, listen. You guys want to send me a code? I'll do I'll I'll do at least a stream of it to check it out, but I didn't like the demo. I let them know. I didn't like that. Did you see the PC requirements for Forspoken? Yeah, they were pretty ridiculous. The thing that was most ridiculous to me isn't the fact that they were, you know, bloated as all hell. But it was also the fact that, oh yeah, you can have, um, you know, for best settings, you need to have a 480 or a 6800. And I'm just like, you can have a 480 or a 6800? You mean I can have like a Bugatti or a Porsche? Not even a Bugatti, but you know, you those two those two um, GPUs aren't even in the same league, not even close. I have it's like, who made this? Did you just see that both cards had an eight and thought that they were gonna be competitive? Like, what's the deal? Do you have early access? Yes. Bro! Thank you. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Sounds like corporate shenanigans between Square Enix and Nvidia. Oh, I didn't even think about it like that. Yeah, it could be. I just thought it was weird. I was like, well, how are you comparing a 4080 to a 6800 XT? Like, what? What are, what are we talking about here? I need to turn off depth of field. It's not doing it for me. AMU. Maria, I'm a middle-aged man with a job and a family currently playing Elden Ring for the first time. Will my brain be able to handle this game too? Uh, I would focus on wrapping up Elden Ring first. Like, look, the game's not going anywhere. We'll have plenty of time to play it later. So just, like, wrap up what you're playing now, especially if you're enjoying it. I think you can do both at the same time. But if you're strapped for time, I probably wouldn't advise it.
wanted to hit him while he was still in the air. Yeah, I would I would recommend I would recommend you take your time, dude. Thank you for all the effort you put into your guides new to Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Fatalis one has been super useful. Bro, Fatalis was no joke back when that thing came out. Holy crap. I don't think I've I don't think I've ever beaten Fatalis with a gun lance without carding. That was another fight that was not particularly friendly towards gun lance. Ow! Bro! Lex! Hey, four reels, how you doing, dude? Theories on TU monsters and features? I don't have any, to be honest. Uh, features we've heard a lot about. There's gonna be more quality of life to anomalies and stuff. There's a couple more quality of life things. I don't think the meta should be shifting that much in the last one. Because it kind of, I feel like the meta has shifted so much in the latest, in the last title updates. I feel like this one's probably going to be one that's going to be good for a couple of weapons. But I don't think it's going to be too meta shifting. I think it's going to be more about uh, giving people quality of life stuff for the anomaly grind. Although I will say, the anomaly grind right now feels a lot better than when we initially did it. Because like I did a little bit of anomaly grinding on Switch yesterday. And it felt way more fun. I'm so not used to attacking this guy from above. Hoping to try to get my friend into Monster Hunter, asked him about it a while back. He said he spent 30 minutes in World before not liking it. It's like Monster Hunter is one of those games that I feel like you need to have a friend that kind of like teaches you the ropes a little bit because most people do not get into Monster Hunter on their first attempt. Does Monster Hunter have in-game voice chat on PS5? I believe it does. Yeah, there's voice chat. You're quite welcome, Four Reels. My, pl my pleasure. I like the vibrant colors quite a bit as well, David Banner. As a matter of fact, at one point, I would like to see a traditional monster hunter with the art style of stories. That's the other thing that I was thinking about. You guys think that stories is ever going to make its way to the consoles? Like, that'd be really cool if stories made its way to the to the um, Xbox and PlayStation as well. I think that'd be cool. No? You don't think we're gonna see stories in consoles, or you wouldn't like it? I think stories on console would be amazing. Oh, yeah, I wanted to turn off uh, depth of field. It didn't run that bad. Jesus, people really exaggerate how bad... Like, you guys ever played an un unoptimized piece of trash on PC? Like, so many people saying, oh, the game ran bad on Switch, and I'm like, bro... Listen, I used to play video games on a Pentium. Okay, do you even know what a Pentium is? 
I used to play video games on a Pentium, 75 megahertz. Actually, no, I played games on 386, although back then the games were so simplistic that you didn't really have too many performance problems. But like, listen, I've played games on a 75 hertz Pentium, okay? That thing couldn't run a damn thing. And I still played games on there, all right? I wasn't playing video games as much as I was watching a PowerPoint presentation. So, it's like when people tell me, oh man, that thing ran so bad, it's like... I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Uh, Frost Island. Uh, I'm not gonna take this weapon for that. I'll, get, I'll give you guys a treat. I'll give you guys a treat. Wait, um... What's the damage on that sword they give us? I'll give you guys a special treat. Hundred and twenty? Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Wait, let me turn off layered armor. How's my character looking right now? That's fine. Yeah, you guys deserve to look at that. Let me see, what do we get? Soaring Kick or Sakura Slash? Soaring Kick is good. That's fine. I don't need anything else. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, not that. Um, money maker, booster, polisher. That'll do. Hey, Monahan. Sandoa, the game drops at your midnight regional equivalent. So that longsword is pre sunbreak nerf. Oh yeah. It's gonna be pretty disgusting. It's gonna be pretty nasty. Let's see if I remember how to play the damn thing. Oh lord, the game pass. No, the, there's no welcome package yet. There's no welcome package yet. I thought there was going to be one, but there isn't one yet. Oh, right. This is gonna suck with, uh, Longsword. <laughs> Guessing no crossplay? Nope. Fortunately, no. Uh, for reals, I, I like world is probably my favorite. Base world. Base world is probably my favorite monster hunter of all time. at all. I still can't believe that there's no punishment for whiffing that attack. Talking. Damn it. 
The whiffs. Instantly press R2. Oh, I am rusty with longsword. I need quick sheet three to pull this crap off. Bum, 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 bum. Any differences from the PC version? Nope. It's just Monster Arise. That's it. Hey, bruv. Smack. Bro, you shouldn't have messed with the Great Izuchi. Which weapon is the most different from Worlds? I feel like all weapons are somewhat different from Worlds. Very few are exactly the same. Not even a proper roar. You just keep sleeping, Lagombi. I don't like you. You're ugly. Yeah, 
Yeah, hunting horn. Yes, hunting horn is the most different one. I thought he was going to do the one that goes up and then down. Ah, finally. reach on that. Bro's got some health. Holy crap. Does the console version get the longsword with the nerfs? No, I'm pretty sure this is pre-sunbreak nerf. The thing is, this longsword is probably not the best weapon to fight this guy. Dun, 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 dun. Gunlance is crap until later in the game. No, actually it's the other way around. Gunlance is really good early on. 
Gun Lance is excellent early on because of the true damage. I not hit him at all? That's not fair. Oh, at least he's blue now. Wow! Good stop. Ah, oh, come on. I feel like I deserve that one. The timing for that particular attack is actually kind of tricky. Run away, you bastard! Combat is way faster compared to Monster in the World. In the console trailer, what's the great sword attack? Where is he flipping in the air? Ah, uh, that's Moonsault something, I think? I personally don't think it's very good, but some people swear by it, so... Oh yeah, in Sunbreak, it's like this game, but on crack. Imagine this play speed, but on crack. It goes even faster. Zoom, zoom! So not used to the patterns of this monster because you rarely fight him. Oof. 
Yeah, I think World is probably like one of the sweet spots of the series as well. Stevan Sanford, I remember once you said you thought the monsters were more aggressive on PC compared to Switch version. Is that the same case with PS5 version? Uh, they've since nerfed that. There was some elements of monsters that were being affected by the frame rate of the game, and they nerfed that. That doesn't happen anymore. In a way, I feel like they buffed the monsters all around, and then they nerfed the monsters a little bit on PC and um, on PC, period. It wasn't even the thing, Mikhail. It wasn't even 60 FPS tracking. I was playing the game at 144. 144 tracking, now that was the real shit. Urgent quest awaits you. Jura todos. It's time to kill Juratidos. Doki gain yo. Okay, before we do that one, we're gonna go to the room. Send out my boys. <laughs> Go see, take, bargaining. <laughs> so then you release Rise Break or just Rise so far? Rise so far. Uh, I don't think base PS4 is going to be 60 FPS, no. Let's take a quick look here. Palico. Critical up, knockout king, mega boomerang, power drum, shock tripper. I don't want power drum or shock tripper, really. But I could take shock tripper, but. No good. No good palicos. Rip. Hopefully after this they'll unlock the um the corn popper. I want my corn popper. Where'd be my corn popper? The game is live probably like in New Zealand or Australia, those places. But other places not so much yet. Can you play on servers or not? Uh, I don't know if anybody else is playing. I could try. Let me see if there's any SOSs. Wasn't there like a random quest? Yeah. Looks like not a lot of people are playing yet. Well, maybe people aren't doing SOS. Astrid Veneer. Da -da -da. 
Yeah, you can, see? Uh, I don't know what quest these guys are on. They're hunting a Ragi. Let's see what it's like. I don't know what the multiplayer is like. I haven't tested it at all. Because uh, when I tried testing it through SOS, nobody was playing. Wow. Thanks, guys. Where's my palico? Crap, with this set, I don't have a fade extender. Oof. Show you poison. Yes, it's pre sunbreak weapon balance. I'm gonna carve these dudes because I'm probably gonna need their materials. I'm actually gonna need to craft some Ragi stuff for the Evade Extender. Actually, Nargakuga stuff is way better, I think, but uh, it's gonna take us a while to get there. So far, it's running pretty well. I don't see a lot of lag, considering that we're probably playing with uh, people from down under.
Ow. Rakan, what's your favorite gun lens shell type? Long. Why is it long? Um, because it's one of the most versatile ones. Uh, with long, your stakes deal a little bit more damage. You deal way more damage with Wyvern Fire. It's just like your full burst is going to be a little bit more limited. It's like it, it's almost like it's the um, Jack of All Trades, Master of None. With the exception that it deals the most Wyvern Fire damage. Having any issues finding people to play with on PS5? Uh, I mean, this is literally the first time I tried doing it. There was only one lobby up because the game's not out on a lot of places yet. So, so far, it's been pretty alright. But again, this is like, first thing. Punk. 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 Hey, Julie Weaver, what's up? I think they might have cross-play with other consoles when they release Sunbreak. No, I doubt it. I think that's this was their chance with the release of the of this version of the game. This was their chance to you know tell people whether or not they were going to do it, and they didn't do it. Now, I don't think they're adding cross-play is not in the cards for Rise or Sunbreak. I straight up just don't think it's happening, team. Let's hope I can craft some evade extender stuff. Hey, Silent Thief. Exit out of the lobby. I just wanted to test the multiplayer there. Oh yeah, this guy gives you friend stuff when you do it. Friend points. I need to take a very quick bio break. I will be right, right back. Don't go anywhere, team. I'm gonna run an ad. Be right back.
Um, back. We watched the Third Fleet podcast. We know what Rui is up to when he takes a quick break during stream. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. What do you mean? I'm gonna make myself a quick little tortilla wrap. Put some ham. And that, we'll call that lunch. Because with the stomach the way that it has been, I don't risk like anything too heavy. There's a little bit of tortilla with ham. That's all you get. I didn't take a quick break again. What are you talking about? These are lies and fallacies. Spicy bean burrito. Yes. It's exactly what I need. A spicy bean burrito. Hell, I'll take two of them. Guys, I, you guys are saying like, oh, it's Sony's fault. It's like, I don't think it's Sony's fault that there's not crossplay. Because guess what? There wasn't crossplay between Switch and PC either. And there's no crossplay between Switch and Xbox either. It's not Sony. I'm all for like, listen, blaming corporations whenever they mess up, but... <laughs> okay. That was a low rank Roggy. I was like, oh, where's my Roggy shit? No, wait, never mind. What about Deco's? No jumping deco. I Man, I'd kill for a jumping deco. Okay, well. We're gonna have to go half and half. I'm going all the way low rank, let's go. No, you can't make HUD elements smaller. I tried looking for that option, I couldn't find it. gonna trigger it on this one.
I have everything maxed out right now, Millsvart. I heavily recommend playing Rise in Japanese. It's not that the dub is bad. It's mostly just because it's more immersive. Because, for instance, for Elgato, I play in English. After hearing your gameplay, I regret having played in English. I mean, like I said, I play, I play um, Sunbreak in English. Doesn't bother me, but I feel like in Japanese, it's way cooler for base rise at least. I'm grabbing some burbs just because our gear is very under level to be here. How is the infamous Hahaya here in Japanese? I don't know. I don't remember that at all. I was hoping I'd get that. <clears throat> that is perfect. So he's headed all the way there. In that case, we're going to go back to camp. He's underwater. These goddamn Roggies really just hit me with a whole can of um, GTFO. Did you guys see that? It's like, why don't you get the hell out of here? How many more sales will Rise get through PS4, PS5, Xbox version? I'd expect a couple million. Not too many. So excited getting Monster Hunter Rise PS5 on Friday. How are you doing? How's the game on PS5? I'm doing great. Um, game on PS5 is good. I mean, it's pretty much Monster Hunter Rise. Runs great. The main complaint that I have is probably like that the cutscenes are still 30 FPS. Other than that, but it's 30 FPS on PC as well. I still don't understand that. I'll never understand that.
Bro, I need a healer, Palico. Oops. I was wondering why he was coming out of the water. And he's leaving. Gameplay 60 FPS on PC cuts in 30 FPS. Yep. How does that miss?
I was thinking of guard reload. I'm like, oh yeah, now guard reload and it'll be fine. Nope. I don't have guard reload yet. I need guard reload so bad. Hey, you better run, sucker. I was wondering if he was going to hit me with the second one. I could have probably still parried that. This is indeed a review copy.
Yeah, Jen, I spoke about that. I wish that was a physical version. It'd be so awesome to have, like, a physical version of, um... Rise with all the patches. And then another one for Sunbreak? It'd be fantastic. Monsters, yeah, right. Okay, so we now have access to the sandy plains. And this is the boy that we need to kill in the sandy plains right there. Need to farm his ass because he has load shells. Not that we need load shells, though, to be honest. To play like I want to play, I don't think it's a big deal. Maido, the merchant. Was he telling me about a new melding pot? Melding haze. It's still not this one, is it? No, it's still not this one. Is there even a Vade extender in this? No. Tell you what. There's gonna be like a part breaker one. How's that? Oof. That's uh, us not having any goddamn materials. That's what that is. There, just give me a part breaker one. Thailand and Eclet, there's two things in Rise. Rise goes back to the old style of doing things, which basically means there's a series of village quests, which are these. These are all solo. So, solo, 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 and solo. But... The story, after you finish Village, continues on the hub. And in the hub, there's plenty more quests that are multiplayer. So there's a portion that is solo and a portion that is multiplayer. But you can start playing multiplayer from the get-go. But Village is solo. And there's no way to co-op that. Oh yeah, I wanted to see... Please. Pretty please, what do you want? Let me guess, you have some more, like, echoes? What do you want? Yeah, sure. A bunch of requests. What do you want? Oh, there it is! There it is, dude! Wait, here it is! Let's go, dude! Let's fucking go! There it is! Woo! There it is, boys. That's what we need right there. That right there is the only thing we need. We don't need anything else. That is the last weapon that we will craft in this save. <laughs> will you be forced to do village quests at some point? No, you're never forced to do anything. There will be requests that the villagers will make of you that can only be done solo. And they will give you, like, more food buffs and stuff, but you're not forced to do them. You can advance the whole story by just playing in uh, hub mode if you want. But yeah, the it's like, listen, if you want, if you're worried about the solo portion, j just story-wise. Actually, story-wise and even the requests, it's about two to three hours tops to do the bare minimum of village. Two to three hours, and you're at credits. So you don't have to worry about it. The thing is, credits is when this game actually begins. 
So you go like two, three hours, hit credits, and then 500 hours later, you're like, what have I been doing with my life? I think I need to feed my kids. <laughs> That's usually how it goes with this monster hunter. She wanted the thick and gooey shit. Thank you. Let me guess, you want to tell me all about, like, is there even, like, new decos? Recovery, bomber, stream, bolt, defense, rodeo, carver, ba 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 nobody cares! Gathering hub. Yo, Ace! It's a true meowster piece. Please tell me that I also get... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gunlands, 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 gunlands! You bastard! Where's my gunlands quest? How dare you! Utsuchi. Utsuchi doing me dirty, dude. Doing me dirty. So who are we gonna kill out there? We're gonna just go straight up and kill this guy. Boom, done. This quest is gonna take a while, boys. It's gonna, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a hot minute. All right, is that? But it needs to be done. It just needs to be done. Isa Dango, Dango Moneymaker, Dango Bombardier, Dango Fire, Fire Resistance, because he's gonna hit us with that goddamn laser. His. Uh, is there an end game? I mean, there's a lot more quests than there were back then, but the the real meat end game, like repeatable end game that you can go and do, that's gonna be Sunbreak. going to be dealing like <clears throat> no damage whatsoever uh so first i need to go get something and we are going to go here desert roses yeah there was one back there i should have gone through main camp let me just grab the honey oh and kill the renopolis of course these monsters are the most important thing for an early rank gunlance player This is what we are reduced to. This monster being literally the most important thing for a Gunlance player who's getting started. It makes me really sad, but it's the truth. Yeah, this is a review copy team. Okay, so there's... Where were the other Renoplos? I forget. No, no, I know, I know. I know where they are. Um, but before we go for the Renoplos, we're gonna go back to main camp. Dude, my nose is itchy as a bastard for some reason today. Now yeah, we're gonna take the back door to camp. Grab that spider web while we're at it. Yeet! Okay, so the Desert Rose is over there. Now, the reason I need this is because there's a rare item that you can get out of here called the Desert Rock. And we got all of them. Uh, not Desert Rock, Rock Rose. Perfect. That was legit. 
that part's done. Now let's go ahead and collect the other... The other boys. We're up there. How's the gameplay on PS5? Silky smooth. With the exception of cutscenes that run at 30 FPS. Sag. Oh, he ran away. Those filthy aptonauts. That's done. Dual blades or sword and shield? Sword and shield all the way. And it's not even close. It's not even close, fam. Come on, you know the answer to this. Dual blades or sword and shield. Do you know where you are, sir? Question, I have two friends on Xbox playing Monster Hunter Rise, and I'm confused how they are playing early. I believe they might have swapped the... their console clock, the console region, to Australia or New Zealand or something like that. And that would be how they're playing early. Do -do 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 -do. It's time to go downstairs and talk to... This monster is a pain in the ass to fight with any weapon. What bonus monster do we have here? Aw, oh, he left. Oh well. Does that work on PS5? I don't think so. I think for PS5, you need to buy it in the appropriate region and then change the time. But I'm not 100% sure. Do you have the normal PS5 or the PS5 Pro? Well, it's a PS5 Pro. It doesn't exist. What I understand outside of PC graphics, why is the game looks better on Xbox Series X? PS5 Pro? There's no PS5 Pro, there's only PS5. I mean right now. Who knows a couple of months from now. I don't know if it looks better on Xbox or not. I've only played it on PS5. I don't have an Xbox. That hurt.
Poor little Vasarios. He just wants to be a Gravios. Okay, while he's wait, he's gonna move over to Volvadon, so I should take advantage of that actually. Do you know if the servers are down for online play? Nope, servers are up. I just did a match earlier. Oh crap, all of them were there. Lovely. I'll take this one. Take this one. Thank you very much. Now we'll poison his, his ass. Not that. Poop! Lots of poison poop. Again. Boop. Boop again. Boop again. And get him. The hell? Where'd he come from? All the ones just like cannonball! Boom! <laughs> He's still doing it. Look at him go! All the ones just like I'm just living my best life. I'm out here living my best life. I can do what I want. Nobody can stop me. Is this locked at 60? Uh, I don't believe it is. But I don't really see an option for 120. So maybe you have to like force it in the PS5 settings. Because it has like the variable refresh rate option. But I don't know. Anyway. Listen, I'm sorry bro. But while these dudes are here, they take priority. Okay, he's dead. Oh, don't you dare stop me from looting this. We're not playing that game, my guys. Okay, you are just asking for it right now, dude. My Renault Plus. This one's about to get trampled. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Bro, really? Come on. That's it. Put his ass to sleep. Good job. Teach him some goddamn manners up in here.
The do bo bo do bo. When is this favoritism going to stop? A complete day before release. Stop the discussing FOMO marketing practice. No hate. Just want to create awareness. Confused. I mean, because I have early access to the game. It's not a complete day before release. The game is out in New Zealand and Australia. Hey, listen. I've I've said multiple times. I'm not the biggest fan of like early access. It is what it is. Dun, 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 dun. That was like some Dragon Ball Z shit right there. <laughs> Basarios just looked at me and went like, Is that low rank armor I see? Is that low rank armor, sir? That's illegal. I'm gonna have to write you a fine. <laughs> I'm so used to blocking that, because usually I have guard up, right? So I'm just like, yeah, just block that, whatever. No, you don't. Because you don't have guard up, my dude. Arigatok. Eric, I'm gonna ask, is this really gonna be worth getting on PS5? I'm really torn coming from World right now. If I wanna buy or wait to see how bad EA does Wild Hearts. Uh, if you haven't played Monster Hunter Rise, I would recommend it, but there's also the fact that, you know, um, there's probably going to be discounts down the line. So if you're not in a rush, if you're thinking like, oh, I want to play Wild Hearts right now and then I want to do Rise, then maybe wait until you're a little bit closer to the release of Sunbreak. See if you get a discount till up then and then get it and then play it, get a character ready for Sunbreak and then get Sunbreak. Or wait until Sunbreak comes out and buy like a Master Edition or something that comes with both games. But ultimately, it's your decision. If you're going to ask me, is it worth it? Yes, Rise is a fantastic game, in my opinion. I love it. I think it's a really good game. So I think it's worth it. But, you know, they each their own. If you want to do Wild Hearts first, then do Wild Hearts first, and then pick up Rise. It's not like the game's going anywhere. This game doesn't even have, like, events in the same way that we had in World, where in World, the events would rotate. In this game, by the time you buy this, it has all the events that Rise will ever have already unlocked in the game so all of the content is there and it's probably going to be the same thing for sunbreak so you know e
Oh, we got his ass. Got him good. Oh my god, that hurts. Is this game easier to play solo compared to Monster Hunter World? Yes. Fizzled. Boom. Skeptical because the majority of my Monster Hunter friends jumped on this when the Switch had it. I'm not sure if I'm going to have anyone to play with it. Yeah, that's the thing. This is one of the things that I hope that they don't do again. Like this staggered release. I don't like it at all. Well, and get me wrong, much respect to the Monster Hunter team. I love those guys. They make amazing games, but I really don't like the staggered release style of like, oh, we'll release it on the Switch. And then next year, we'll release it on PC. And then the year after that, we'll, re we'll release it on, on PS5. And it's like... You know? It's like, come on. Release the game. On all the platforms it's going to come out on. Like, I, I, I don't like this. Yeah, exactly. It fragments the community. Blame Nintendo for paying for exclusivity. But Doug, it's it's always easy. It's always very easy to blame certain companies for the exclusivity thing. Sure thing. Would Bayonetta exist? Bayonetta 2. Would it exist if it wasn't for Nintendo? Nope. Would Bayonetta 3 exist if it wasn't for Nintendo? Nope. Would God of War exist if it wasn't for Sony? Nope. Would God of War Ragnarok exist if it wasn't for Sony? And you can keep going on and on and on. Who knows if Monster Hunter Rise would exist if it wasn't for Nintendo investing in it? I don't know. Probably yes, because Monster Hunter is not as dependent on that. They're a third-party publisher. But still, you know...
Optional subquests. Very quickly head over to the steelworks. Oh my god! A level three shelling gun lens. Oh, I forgot. I need to get the bamboo shoots or whatever. I need to get the bamboo shoots to unlock the other one. Uh, but what I wanted was armor. Can we craft the best armor? It looks like we have everything that we need. So, welcome to Peak Gunlands. There you go. What does this one do? Pierce up, stun resistance, tremor resistance. Don't care about any of this. Attack boost and critical eye. Where's my evade extender at, bro? I need my evade extender. This is guard up. Offensive guard, power up longer. One evade extender, one evade extender, and offensive guard. That would be good. The helmet here is good. We need a Juratotus Fang. Masarios has load shells. Load shells on chest. Load shells on boots. So we can get load shells by getting boots and head. Please tell me boots don't require... Oh, no! Not the tail! Oh, not the tail, not the tail, not like this. Not like this! And where would I get a vid extender? I guess on the belt. Probably off of Nargakuga's ass. Which we don't have a vid extender available to us at all. If we go for load shells. But we're probably going to go for load shells. And then I need to go kill Nargakuga. Narga Kuga. Unless you can hook me up with a friggin' Evade Extender Deco. Can you make an Evade Extender Deco, my guy? No, you can't. You can't make an Evade Extender Deco. See? What good are you? <coughs> I know that we can get decorations, but uh, you need to grind for that. By the way, team, if you're enjoying the live stream, do remember you can hit the like button. It helps us out immensely. You need to pay Aunt Susan her tribute. Otherwise, she tends to get upset. So, we need to hit um, Lava Caverns next. But we can do Shrine Ruins real quick. We can do a, sh a real quick Shrine Ruins since Bouquet is not going to be much of a problem. And we can go get our prized bamboo shoots. Boom, boom, boom. We should have full artillery now, right? All right. Um, Chaos Slayer wanted me to check some for him. So let me see here. Training area. Actually, he might have access to the game by now, so I don't know. But I'm gonna check it anyway. Um. Now let me see real quick. Uh, should have been in my notifications yesterday. Bro, I can't find him.
Okay, here it is. <clears throat> Sort of. Sorry about that. Do I buy this again after 900 hours on Switch? Again, to me it's always about do you have friends that you want to play with? Because to play by yourself? Probably not. Go polisher, bombardier, fortune caller, sure. <laughs> huh? All we got was fortune caller. Feels bad. Feels bad, dude. Uh, oh right, we gotta get bamboo shoots. So, I believe... I believe there's some... Here. <clears throat> Molly friend is chaos. That's good to know. Does he live in your head? I think there were some back there as well, but in here there's some just like very immediate ones. Whoops. Almost went past them. Come on, give me the good stuff. Give me the good stuff. Yes! Need like one or two more, I think. <clears throat> Let's see. Does the game run smooth? You're looking at it, but yes, in my opinion, yes. I do believe it holds up to 60 FPS, but I don't really have Digital Foundry's tools. So there might be a couple of drops that I don't notice, but for the most part, feels solid 60 FPS. Looks, looking forward to experience the game feature complete with a new weapon. Don't plan on grinding as hard to sell a completed game up to TU3 on Switch. Skyhunter121, thank you very much for the soul. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. <clears throat> Uh, wasn't there some... I think that there were some shoots here as well. Wait, there's a easier way of doing this. Shoot patch. Perfect. Right there. Clau Fru, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Thank you for the support. Uh Nope. <laughs> yeah, Gormagala is where I felt the most um where I felt the thing the most. Uh okay, th wow, there's one right next to the main camp. <clears throat> There's a bamboo shoots in here. This is a lie. You are lying to me, game. Wait. God damn it. You sit on a throne of lies. No, it's actually up here. Request completed. Perfect. Now all we got to do is butcher this, uh, this poor creature. 
Would you consider swapping your main save if you happen to get a god talisman roll? I don't know. I don't know. I'm even considering swapping my main save back to the Switch and I don't even have as good of a roll there. Because I just miss playing it on Switch. I, I guess I'm a we I'm weird guy. It's just portability to me has become much more important over the years. Because I'm constantly lugging my console back and forth between the place where I record videos where I'm at right now and my home. And lugging the Switch is a lot easier than just lugging the PS5. When do you predict the next Monster Hunter title? I had a video talking about that. I don't remember. Oh no. Oh crap. This is Chaos Slayer's fault by the way. But I believe that my idea was that it was going to be announced at some point this year and then released like early 2024. That was my initial prediction. Can you gift your current PC setup to me then, Rurikon, since you will play on Switch from now on? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's a funny one. That's funny. No, I don't think I will. I think I'm good. Oh my god, these palicos are just abusing this creature.
Oh god, that was not good! <laughs> that was nice. Caught me on the reload, but... Oh, come on. Stop it. Get help. Go to work now. Fun seeing this emotion PS5. Well, thank you for showing up, Rez. Yeah, Rampage is a thing. But it's like, I don't plan on doing much Rampage, to be honest. Considering that Rampage gets completely <laughs> annihilated when Sunbreak releases, I don't think it's the smartest use of your time. Basically, when Sunbreak releases, it's like they just delete Rampage. Might as well not exist. Hello. How are you still alive? Go gentle into that good night. He was like raging on. He's like, no. You're not, you'll never take me alive. Can you get to master rank 101 day in this game? I don't know. You should ask G Rank Rupeku, he'd know that better than me. I don't really grind Master Rank. I just let it come naturally as I play the game. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, yes, Volstrax is already available. Speak on all weapons, non bow gun. How would you rank? 
If I remember correctly, it's like in terms of performance, longsword is the best. No, I mean, it's like bow's the best because you said non-bow gun. So I'm just excluding uh, heavy bow gun and light bow gun. So bow was like the best, if I'm not mistaken. Was bow the best? Or is bow the best now? I forget. But bow's up there. Bow is really good. So there's bow, longsword. Uh, then... I think it might have been like greatsword. And then you start getting into stuff like dual blades and and whatnot. Bim, 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 bim. Give it to me! Give it to me! Yes, give me that corn popper, the juiciest weapon. Bro, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Everybody thinks this is a joke weapon. This is the best weapon in the fucking game, dude. Well, the best gun lines. Everybody's like, ah, it's so funny, it's the corn popper. Ha 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 It's a big joke. It's a big joke, the corn pop. No? No, it's actually just really fucking good. It's, it's just really fucking good. That's it. That's all there is to it. It's just a really fucking good weapon. Uh, we can't really do any of these yet, so now it's time to go do armor. So, I need... If I want to get three... Do I care about getting three? I don't. Not right now, anyway. I can get three later. So the most important thing is for me to get a Vade Extender next. So a Vade Extender would actually be because, like, none of the this is going to have it. Do 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 do. Actually, I should craft one wind fast if I can. Not on the chest. Can't do chest. Need a bit extender somewhere else. Slugger would be nice too, though. Okay, I think it's time for us to do something stupid, don't you guys think? It's time for me to do something stupid, like come over here and just go like, Hey, babe, babe, listen. Babe. Babe, listen. Listen. Listen, babe. I'm gonna need... I need some meat. You feel me? I need some meat. I need a lot of meat. Yeah, thank you. Then you're gonna come over here. We're gonna be like, hey yo! No, no, wait, it is here. Motley Mix. Motley Mix. You guys ready for this? Yes, you can drop your gamer tag if you want. Boom! Siboshi Matario! Thank you. And then we're going to do it again. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do it again. You understand? This is how you do it. Right here. Okay? We're going to get a ton of meat. Meat! How does use haptic feedback on controller? It doesn't do much with it, unfortunately. It basically makes it harder to block and that's about it. Which was disappointing. Boom! And, because that's not enough, we're gonna do it again! You guys are like, Rurikan, why are you cooking all this meat? Why? Why all of this meat? Okay, and let me show you why. 
Because now, after you cook all of this meat, you're going to go over here. You're going to be like, hey, thank you. Yes, sure. It was great. That's right. Give me tickets. Dango tickets. That's why. Dango tickets. All the dango tickets. All the food you can eat. Bum, bum, bum. Am I out of potions? No. I'm out of meat. <laughs> but anyway, now that we have the corn popper, we can really go to town. We can really start going to town on these here quests. Thank you, I was literally about to look up how to get more tickets. I've only done like three videos explaining this. <laughs> but I always manage to find somebody that doesn't know yet. That's why I do it. <laughs> Got him. That's the point with not much use of haptic feedback. Yeah. They don't even do much with the vibration either. It's just like super basic. So I was kind of like, meh. I was expecting you guys to do better there. That was one of the things that I was mostly hyped for was like, what's it going to feel like when I pop a wyvern fire? And the answer was not very impressive. I'll forgive you, Burger, but just this one, just this one time, okay? Just this one time. Uh, okay, so now we just need to advance because I want to go get guard reload. That's the next thing. We need guard reload. Uh, who do I kill next? He might have some stuff that we might need, so we can go him, him. And him. So I'll start with him because I don't like him. He's annoying to fight. Go boom, wo. Doki gain, yo. And now we can eat all the food. Actually, now that we're going to do that, we might as well just go order the usual. Nero Tensi, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Cheer to you, sir. Cheer to you, good sir. Uh, we are going to make a set, and it is going to be. Bombardier. Wait, can I just save calculator? There's no way you can do that. It'll just register the daily special, most likely. So we will do this. We'll do polisher. And we will do... Isn't there a defender low or something? Where's defender? Defender low. Boom. This is a good time to hit the like button. That's what the music actually says. The music says, this is a good time for you to hit the like button. Boom, boom. You don't, you don't set the ticket. The tickets you set manually every time. Bro, I can't look at my character in this armor anymore. There's a limit. There's a limit to suffering. I can't believe that the developers are this evil to make my character look like this. Like, why, why are gun... Like, actually look at this. Like, no joke. This is peak Gunlance. Early in the game, this is peak Gunlance. What is this, Capcom? Like, act, not, 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 sir, let, let me show you guys. Like, let me show you what we're working with here. All right? Listen. Capcom, I have questions. I, I'm, just, I'm just asking, all right? I have questions. Capcom, please explain this. That's, that's all I want to know. That's all I want to know. Okay, I'll even put in some depth of field and everything so that it's nice and pretty. Look. Okay? Now, just explain this to me. Why are we here? Just to suffer? Like, what is this? <laughs> but please! I'm just curious. Like, who's... <laughs> Who in the team plays Gunlance and thought this was a good idea? <laughs> the belt's still too nice? Wow. 
All right. That's because it's the wrong belt. I haven't optimized the belt yet. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. What's the thing that I wanted to do? Um, I wanted to do something. Oh, yeah. I want to go craft... I want to go craft... Um, can I craft steadfast? That would be good. If I could craft steadfast, I'd be happy. Can't craft anything. Can't craft anything. Game sucks. <laughs> I'm joking. Alright. Waking up the monster to music is a delicacy. Good stuff, dude. Happy to oblige. Arbalite ore. Let's go get homeboy over here. Thank you. This is gonna feel terrible without um without guard reload, but we're gonna do it anyway. Hello, bruv. See, I feel like my shell should blow that thing up. I think that's only fair. Sit down.
Rise does have Monster Hunter language voiceover. It's gotta hurt. Bro, the only thing that's missing right now... I need it so bad. Broken back. You know it'd be a neat video? It'd be to do like a hunt, and then every time your hunter falls, like, you would just have the, the Mortal Kombat x-ray moves. So like, this one would be like an x-ray move for a busted back. You would see your spine literally break in two. Ah, boom! Did that hurt? You look tired. Probably has something to do with all those charred shells I've been putting in you, huh? Sit down, son. You don't want to hurt yourself. You should leave that part to me. Where are you going? Did I say you could leave? I'm back! <laughs> I love playing this style, it's so much fun! I barely used charged shells when Rise initially came out. Mortal Kombat Fatality? No, 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 not Fatality. X-Ray moves. You guys haven't seen the X-Ray moves? You get, like, that special attack. They, they started this in Mortal Kombat, like, 9, I think. Where you, where you do a special attack and, like, you see this x-ray move of the other character just getting friggin' brutalized. That's what I'm talking about. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, look at him. Stuff in his face. You're gonna get fat like that. We wouldn't want that. Get diabetes. Come down from there. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. What? He landed behind me. Dirty tricks.
bastard. <laughs> okay, so does that count? Does that not count? Like, how do we rate that one? <laughs> How do, how do we how do we handle that one? <laughs> it wasn't the cat. What killed him was the worm steak. These worm steaks have a delayed explosion. Hmm. If it's a speed run, still counts. <laughs> really? Now I get no loot, though. That's the problem. Not that I care. I don't want to craft anything from Beach anyway. Hey there, gamer. What's up, dude? <sighs> look at my beautiful character there, gamer. Look at how sexy he looks. <laughs> Hmm. All meldings complete. Meow scenarios have returned. Oh right, I forgot about the melding. One part breaker, thank you, I'll take that. That's exactly what I wanted. How are you? Looking so fresh. Yeah, I know. I'm doing good, dude. Doing good. Just uh, checking out the PS5 version. Having some fun. Trying out some different things that I didn't try on the, the other two versions. Like doing charge shell gunlance, which is not... It's not something that you tend to see often. So I figured, ah, oh, why not? Third time going through this. Might as well do something weird. Uh, let's see. I wasn't really trying to get anything out of that. I just need to advance to unlock my next switch skill. Going for the platinum? No, not really, because uh, I'd probably get burned out trying to get all the crowns. So I never, I never try shooting for plats in Monster Hunter. It is very easy to burn out on a Monster Hunter game if you're trying to shoot for plat because of crowns. This one's actually going to be a little bit annoying, I think. How do the adaptive triggers feel? They didn't really do much with the adaptive triggers, which was disappointing. I wish they had done more. Basically, it's harder to block, so I actually have it turned off. It gives you a little bit of resistance when you're trying to block, and that's about it. Does focus affect charged shells? Even if it does, it's not worth it because they've... I think they changed something in charged shells where the second you get to the second charge, it just fires instantly. You don't, you don't even have to, like, let it go properly. It just fires. So I don't think focus is going to help a whole lot. I should test it, though. Could be an interesting thing to test. What are we hunting again? Oh, right. Um, homeboy. I think it does work, but it's so minimal that it's not worth it. Bum, 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 bum. Pow! Pow! Ew.
Do you use guard deco? I will, eventually. Right now I don't have them. We're at the very start of um, high rank still, guys. That's it. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, my guy. Yoink. How am I going to do this? Well, I'll just do this. Now I'm going to pop it right in his head. Like a zit. Let's put this toad on you. No. A gift from me to you. Oh, he's going to fall asleep. Nice. Your threshold for sleep is not particularly good, huh? was my first card on Twitch. I think he also carded me on PC. Bruh. Something broke. What's the living like and what's the living like I wonder in Portugal just curious is the economy doing well no the economy is doing terrible everywhere but our cost of living is uh, much lower than like states and other places in the world so for some of us it's not as bad problem is that you know most people are living paycheck, paycheck to paycheck, just like the rest of the world. I'm lucky enough that what I do, you know, while in the States, this would probably, like, I wouldn't be able to survive off of this. In Portugal, it's, uh, it's pretty average, let's put it like that, which is good, which is all I need here. 
Not greedy. Not looking to be a millionaire. Where is PS5 replacing your PC safe from now on? I don't know. I doubt it. Because don't forget that we still have the title updates that are going to come out before uh, Sunbreak comes out for this. So... I'm going to have to play on another console whenever those updates come out. I always wondered if you could break this with Gunlance, um, with Gunlance stakes. I don't think you can, though. I can't even imagine Cali of all places. Cali has to be wild. Oh, that was actually pretty fast. For a Baroth with the gear we have, that was pretty fast. Where your monster hunter player, have you seen how we hoard monster materials? <laughs> You're nothing if not greedy. Yes. I'm like one of those loot goblins, bro. With these materials. I'm one of them loot goblins. I hit Anomaly 200 on Switch, dude. I was, like I was saying, I, I was playing Anomaly yesterday and I actually thought it was kind of cool. Like, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but they kept giving me uh, research monsters that I had investigations for. And I would keep generating more investigations for the, for monsters that I would keep getting in the research thing. So I was constantly getting the bonuses. And I was like, this actually is fun to level up like this. As opposed to the way that I had to level up on PC, which was terrible. Yarum. Send my boys out. Oh, we can go to high rank now. Dun 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 dun. Dude, you think that's a lot, Paolo? Back in Monster Hunter World, it was like, I don't know why I need 600 scales from, uh, what was her face? Kolf Taroth? I don't know why I need 600 of these. But you never know. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> oh my god, look, look at how bad the snapback is already. Dude, this is literally a new controller, dude. It's already hitting all kinds of snapback. Yep, there it is. I'm like cursed. It doesn't matter what I do, I'm always gonna be cursed with snapback. <sighs> hey, Toxic, thanks. Can you adjust dead zones on PS5? No. Don't I wish. If I could, I wouldn't have this problem. Now we kill this guy. Most forgot to eat. Also, how do you mispronounce my name, your Portuguese? Paolo Marucci Cierro. Did I not say it like that? I didn't get any sleep this tonight, so... My... 
My brain is not working at full capacity. No, it doesn't have stick drift at all. There's no drift. It's just snapback. But all controllers have it. I think it might be because it doesn't seem like PlayStation is going to implement that on a hardware level, which would be perfect. As a matter of fact, all console manufacturers should. It's like implement dead zones on a hardware level. So we can just go into the console menu and just like, okay, I want to set a dead zone for this controller. That would solve so many problems, but they don't. The Royal Ludroth. It's Italian. Oh, it's Italian. Okay, then be Paolo Maru Maruki Chierro. Paolo Maruki Chierro. Probably pronounced like that too. Ma che pazza, ragazza, eh? Ma perché fate así, eh? And then, like this. <laughs> you hit him with the, with the ultimate Italian. <laughs> <sighs> Gotta fork over 250 bucks for the pro controller for that. No, dude, that's that's ridiculous. I ain't doing that. Probably be too afraid to use it. about my name i7 vk Got that Plesioth hitbox going. Royal Ludroth deals some damage when you don't upgrade your crap. Nani? Yeah, me neither. Never had any issues with the PS3 sticks, dude. They worked like a charm. That was the last controller I've never had any stick issues with. Even when they started drifting, they were still, like, mostly fine. Even though they were drifting just a little bit towards the right, I was like, ah, oh, this is still pretty good. But ever since then, it's like every controller uses this cheap garbage sensor. I say cheap garbage sensor because it feels like they literally pulled it out of a dumpster. Like, there's probably a team that dumpster dives, and that's the team that goes and gets the, the sensors for the analog sticks. That's why whenever you open the bitch, they're always super mega dirty. Then you clean them up and they kind of work for a little bit better, but then they go back to their old ways. Is they're friggin' they're not even second hand parts, they're like third hand parts in the dumpster. 
then they sell it to you for like 80 euros or some shit. Damn it, that still hit me. Look at him moving in for the kill. Boom, boom, boom. I reckon that's really have to deal with that crap people buying ball bearing off of eBay and we tell them they dumpster dive for that crap. That's why it's cheap. <laughs> yeah. How are you liking Gunlance? Dude, I've always loved Gunlance. Gunlance is my main weapon. During base rise, it's one of the worst weapons, but you know, it is what it is. It's review copy. Essence, thank you very much for being grossing at us for a full year. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Ooh, charge shelling. Yeah, I know. I'm trying it out. Listen, I gotta I gotta put some diversity into my gameplay. My palico sabotaged me. I'd like to know where they got that trap. Oh yeah, one of them has shock prison, I think. Did you? You bastard! You filthy, dirty monkey! Oh my god. This stupid monkey coming in here with his belligerent self. Well, at least that did something. Got him. Thanks for the assist, bro. Uh, how's that not going to reach? Come on. Where are you going, bruv? Is that enough? Is
if you want to make an interesting place, Laplands. Miru, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support. Thank you. And now I'm going to time you out for saying such blasphemous things. That's uh, some heresy coming out of you right there. Did not expect this. Heretic. <laughs> Imagine playing Slap Lance. Oof. Couldn't be me. Trying to ask the two YouTube guy, but I guess he's not going to answer. When the game's releasing? It's going to release at your midnight equivalent, I think. That would be my prediction. I don't actually know exactly when the game releases for each region. It's already released, like, in New Zealand and Australia. But in other places of the world, I don't know. But I would imagine be your midnight equivalent. Imaginary being optimal, yes. I love the delayed gratification of the thing exploding and killing him afterwards. It's great. Which one's the next urgent? I forget. I think it might I think it might be Toby. I think it might be Toby. Dude, Toby is gonna brutalize me with this set. Starting Rice tomorrow for the first time, which weapon do you guys recommend I start with? I was the main greatsword, Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Well I can tell you that Great Sword is still very good in Rise, and it's like the best melee weapon in Sunbreak. So if you want to keep doing that, it's cool. If not, Switch Axe would be a good one to go for as well. It's a lot of fun. Are you going to use the Lance on this run? No. Um, Long gun lance with powder mantles. Yeah, powder mantle is really good. Urgent, urgent, urgent. Is it Toby Kadachi? Oh no, it's a It's a Mizu! Oh no. Poor little Mizu. Poor little Mizu. This Mizu did nothing wrong. But we're going to have to uh, put the fear of God in him. It's that simple. This Mizu is, uh, he is in dire need of suffering. Listen, team, he deserves it because after all, he is a Mizu. It's a Mizu. And you know what we do with Mizus around here. I'm actually curious. Bum, bum. Oh my God. I can already do it. Yep. 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 It's a Mizu. Oh no. Anyway. We even went with the anti aquatic to go with it. It's going to be beautiful. Help! I've fallen and I can't get up! Bro, this Mizu about to learn. He's about to learn. Mizu should have a variant where he gets a helmet like Glass Joe and Tyler. <laughs> yeah, give Mizu a helmet. This poor creature. <laughs> this poor creature. 
By the time I'm done with him, you guys are going to be asking, Rurikon, what has Mizu ever done to you? Why does he deserve all of this abuse? The answer is... He didn't do nothing. I just felt like doing it. Guessing the Amiibo Layered Armor is exclusive to the Switch version? Yes. Oh, Mizu. It's time for pain. How have you been doing today? I've fallen and I can't get up! Help! Help! I've fallen! Help! <laughs> Help! Help! Want some more belly? <laughs> I've fallen! I can't get up! <laughs> Help! I've fallen and I can't get up! Oh my god, he actually hits hard though. <laughs> Look at how hard he hits. <laughs> Woo! Hot damn! Listen, Mizu, it's very important that you don't move. <laughs> that head punishment. guy. He just has trouble. He's getting old. Why are you leaving, Mizu? Come back. For one dollar, you too can save an unfortunate Mizu. No, you can't save this one. This one, this one's dead. We've caused him like permanent brain damage. 
Peter's gonna give you a call later. Good. I love not answering my phone when it rings. Ah! Not like this! Why does it have to be the head? Yep. Yep. That do be the Mizu experience. I knew that one was going to happen. I was being such a cocky bastard. I knew that one was coming. <laughs> it's like I have no upgrades whatsoever in this armor. <laughs> There's no upgrades whatsoever. <laughs> that wasn't a hip check. That was a tail swipe. God, that bubble stings. That little bubble of his. That's another piece busted. He's got some HP on him though. Oh my god. We might uh we might need to upgrade our armor, fam. This bastard hidden like a goddamn truck. Not only upgrade our armor, but actually get all high rank armor. <laughs> I'm still running low rank armor. <laughs> Mizu has had enough. <laughs> Listen, team. We have uh, we have low rank armor. All right. We have low rank armor. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Okay.
Don't make me go get the bombs, Mizu. I'll go get the bombs. You don't want me to get the bombs. Right? Is the PS5 version good? Yes. Main complaint, like I said, cutscene still 30 FPS, same as the PC. Mizu was sandbagging for the content. <laughs> yes, let's let's say that's what was happening. I I concur. God damn. that now I have to heal again. Why you gotta be obnoxious? Why don't you just accept it? Accept it, Mizu! It's gonna happen! Just accept this Mizu so that I can go and get my goddamn guard reload. I shot him point blank in the head with my giant piece of corn. All right? That's what happens. That's what happens. Point blank. Point blank, I got him right in his ugly mug. Poor bees, we had hope with this one. <laughs> right there right there the Mizu learned that he's no match for a giant piece of corn so now we should unlock the final switch skill which will give us the move set that we actually want. And then it's time to farm for some um, for some decos. Hopefully it will also unlock my friggin' jumping deco. That'd be so good. I'd craft two of them immediately. Found our answer. The answer is that to which play the Kimura, the cause of the rampage. Oh no. Yep, yep, yep. Wind Serpent Ibushi. Six star quests. Better have the gun lance in there or I will slap the bejesus out of you. You understand, son? Longsword, dual blades, gun lance! Crap. It's a Baryoth. Uh, at this point, I need new armor. There's no way I'm going to do a Baryoth like this. I need either new armor or new decorations. One of the two. Metal Ace. Let me see them decos. Really? Bubble? Bubble Gobbler Protection? Bubble before jumping? Bruh. Bruh. Where's my jumping deco, dude? Am I gonna have to am I gonna have to slap you? Am I gonna have to slap you, Haman? 
to get you to give me a jumping deco, bro? You're gonna you're gonna get slapped in front of this whole village over a jumping deco? You sure that's wise? I don't think that's very wise, dude. Is all I'm saying. Because I will slap you in front of this whole village over a deco. I'm that guy. I'll do it. Don't test me. Rui, how come you level up so fast? I play the game. Naragakuga. Juratotus. Do it for the dango. Quality wyvern egg. Two of them. What do you want? Brush glaive. I'm just gonna have to slap, and that's all there is to it. Gonna have to give him a good old slap. On the PS5? I mean, I've been playing for a couple of days now. I haven't played that much. I, I can see how many hours I have, actually. Just out of curiosity. Twenty-one hours. Could do it a lot faster, but I've also was farting around, recording guides, doing stuff. Yeah, I think I need Narga's belt. Bana. If. Let's also check the buddy plaza, see if there's better buddies. Fleet foot feet, more like worthless. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna just need some high rank armor, bro. I'ma need you to give me some high rank armor. It's just, it's just wait, can I upgrade my weapon? Oh. Okay, so this is going to require Rathalos, and then in here, Magnamalo, Rathalos, Ragna, and Magnamalo. Which wouldn't really be a problem once I get the skill that I'm missing. Kamudam. Can we get anything good like on helmet? Or on belt. <sighs> I need this. I need an Anjanath Fang Plus. Two of them, even. Then we'll have Razor Sharp. Although that's not, like, super important right now. You can get that one later. I can get this, but then I'll be missing a Vade Extender. Oh my god! Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. 
We really need to get Nargakuga. It just needs to happen. It just needs to happen. We're going to have to play with one. Um, nah, screw it. Wait, what is this giving me? Okay, I can at least get something better here, no? I mean, come on, man! One point in guard. Bruv. Two points in guard for a quality fin. Quality fin, that's like Gajau. That's some Gajau crap. Also, did I unlock the lava caverns? Yes, we did. We now have the lava caverns. It's like, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. The hell with it. The hell with it. I will upgrade, but just two pieces. We're gonna do it. We are gonna do it, team. Upgrade armor. No plus. Okay, these two pieces are upgraded. Is there anything that I can craft like right now that will give me an advantage? I can do wire bug, but it's not gonna be a big deal. Nah, it's whatever. We're gonna go like this. Daylexes, okay. We can do that too. Although to be honest, I'm probably just gonna go straight for the um for the Narga. Cause like once I get this skill that I need to get out of this Barioth, things are gonna become a lot easier. How do you feel about the hammer and rise? I believe that in base rise, hammer is basically impact crater. Hammer is not particularly powerful in rise. Still more powerful than the gun lines though. As someone who's only played world, should I get this? Yes. Very easy, <clears throat> very easy answer that. Okay, guys, I'm going to need you all to suddenly believe that Barioth is an aquatic monster. Like, look, just, just go with it. I mean, look, he's on top of water. Therefore... 
aquatic monster. Makes sense to me. Right? Don't you guys think that's fair? I think that's fair. He's an aquatic monster now. Carry the way, bro. It's a Baryoth. <laughs> Carry the way? The Baryoth's gonna be the one getting carried away, beating my shit in. I suck at fighting Baryoth. If he thinks he's aquatic, he's aquatic. Listen, guys, if we believe hard enough, my shells will do more damage. That's what's important. We just need to believe hard enough. If you believe that this is an aquatic monster, then hit the like button on this video right now. Like, look, he's on water. He's clearly aquatic. And see, he has his little aquatic platypus friend, see? And now begins the face full of Tetranodon Crotch. Butt slam! Butt slam! Yep, it is what it is. Butt slam! Butt slam! Ice is just cold water. Yes, I agree. Clearly an aquatic wyvern. Sit down before I bust your teeth. Wait, I already did. <laughs> Got him. Can't be rocking low rank armor. <laughs> I can't be rocking low rank armor anymore. I am so greedy. He hurts. He hurts a lot. I don't want to forge high rank armor because none of it has the skills I want. Not even the skills I want, the skills I need. Like, I can't be fighting a Baryoth without a Veda Extender with a Gun Lance and not even have my goddamn signature move. One of the signature moves for this particular build. Very specific. Very specific. Where's this stupid crow? Give me that. Ah, now, bitch. Hey, bro. What's up? Listen. Nothing personal. I need to break these wings.
Bro, this is just like a bite. It's supposed to be minor damage. Sheesh. We need to break one of the wings, otherwise we're kind of kind of dead in the water here. I need to break the other one. Bro, oh, even with a broken wing, he's still really fast. What? Go home, Barry. Off you're drunk. Lovely. Okay. How much more is it going to take, Barioth, huh?
I can't keep trading with him. It's a bad idea. Damn bastard! Thank you very much for the souls, Miru, 5700%, tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. What are the three best electric monsters? I mean, it's going to be... You, I don't understand the question. Best in terms of, like, their weapons? Best in terms of... Oh, no. I don't have potions. Best in terms of, um... Taste? Like... What are you looking on? Yes. Is wide good now? No, it's terrible. No, I can't cap yet. Did the Palico said I could cap? Okay, I didn't I didn't read it. This weapon is not boring. We're just missing the move set. How cool they are. Okay. Um, Astalos. Rajang. And Lagi. Astalos, Rajang, and Lagi, probably. Just like very quickly, but do remember my memory is terrible and I didn't sleep. I reserve the right to change some of those. Uh, so now I can... Oh yeah, I don't even have to talk to him. It's just done. Bom, 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 bom! Guard reload. Guard reload. And now... Bruv. Where's that Nargakuga bitch? 
Where's that bitch? Let's go talk to that bitch. Show him who's boss. Show him who's boss. Nagakuga about to learn. He's about to learn real good. Quality wyvern eggs. Sonicant seductive. Big brushes. Almudron tail. Terrible. Two divine rhinos. Don't care. Hire 15 buddies. Equipment crash course. Uh, let's take a look. Now that I mentioned the buddies, though. Do, 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 What is the weapon that's in the air a lot? Insect Glaive. Not it. Terrible. This is good. We should get this guy. Um, See you later, Kirill. Alright. Let's go get the food. And let's go see about this, um... This here, Nargs. Gunlance is uniquely boring. What's your main weapon, Mike? Jesus, guys, don't be so aggressive. Oh my god. People cannot like gun lines. It's fine. They're wrong, but it's fine. I mean, I can show you some much more dynamic gun lines play, but right now I'm, I was optimizing to do some wide shelling. I was going to say you're really going to do this again, but then I remembered that I played Monster Hunter World plus Sizemore and PS4, Xbox One. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Narks. Oh my god! That fail slam hurts. Can't be that aggressive. Can't be that aggressive. Watched another couple of videos. Yours, Monster and Rise played World. Looking forward to another Monster game. Enjoyed the layout of your videos. Oh, you're welcome, Norix. Glad you enjoyed it. Can't be this aggressive before I craft my arm. Ooh. 
Bro! Okay, tell you what. Tell you what, Nargs. I can see which way the wind's blowing. Guys, why do you insist on stuffing the troll? Jesus Christ, you weren't... Like, you were force-feeding this troll, man. Don't you guys know we can't do that for too long? They get diabetes. Guard, guard up are basically necessities at this point. <clears throat> My biggest problem is not guard. Biggest problem is a Vade extender. Like, we're using two pieces of low rank gear because of a Vade Extender. And there's no other piece of gear that really has a Vade Extender right now, so we need to unlock it. And if I remember correctly, Narga's belt has decent Vade Extender, so I need to work on that. I don't want the Aura Turtle. I just need some, uh, some additional HP. Because, uh, yeah playing with this uh with this set in here it's gonna be a pain dude my voice is leaving you guys you guys hear that <clears throat> lack of sleep and now my voice is leaving man feels bad Ray, what do you think of the plushy weapon armor wait there's armor? I wasn't aware of this. Thinking of getting Rise for PS5, but then I would... <coughs> like to use some weapons and then play much. Maybe hammer and bow. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, that was so bad. Um, I mean, bow's really good. Hammer, not as much, I hear. But, yeah. Rui, bow is the best weapon in the game, right? I don't remember if bow was the best weapon or if it was the bow guns in base rise. I seem to remember bow being really ahead in base rise. Then they nerfed it slightly. Oh yeah, bow was broken because it had like the... Um, it had like that glitch. I don't know if they fixed that or not. Bow used to have like this animation canceling glitch that just made it completely and absolutely busted. And just the sheer amount of damage that it could dish out with elemental damage was completely broken. Like, it wasn't even reasonably broken. It was completely busted. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if that's still the case, though, because I don't play bow. Yeah, hammer is fine. Hammer is fine. I mean, I'm playing literally the weakest weapon of base rise. With the weakest playstyle of base rise. Which is charge shelling.
I think we're gonna give him the business. I think that's what that Nargakuga needs to understand is that we're gonna give him the business and he's not gonna like it. <laughs> if one weapon is is broken, isn't it Bogans? I mean Bogans have always been broken, but in um in base rise, bow is even more broken than Bogans. Go on, go fight with your friend. That's it. And after you fight with your friend, I'm gonna give you the business. Hey, Victor Andre Angle. What's up? Zappy zap! You're gonna love these zappy zaps. Damn those tail swipes. They hurt like a bitch. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. And now, we're gonna give you the business. Understand, my guy? Here's the business. That's a busted wing right there. I need to bust the other one. Yoink, yoink, yoink. I really hope we get the right materials to do his belt. I hope we don't need like, um, imagine if we end up needing a, man not a mantle, a ruby or something, whatever is the equivalent of that. Nargakuga gem.
Really? Brigan Bullfango. Narga. I really need high rank armor at this point. This is as far as we go. Oh, what the hell?
Oops. I got a little carried away there. I got a little bit carried away there. We got the medulla. <clears throat> Belt Fang, Piercing Claw, Razor Scale, Scale Pelt. <clears throat> what rank are you at? Uh, I guess six, maybe? Yeah, six. Can I craft this bastard's belt, please? It's the only thing I can craft. Bum, 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 bum! Eh, buddy! Yay! Yay! Now things get really wild. Not one, but two Basario's tails. Basarios. Good lord. There's three materials. It's not going to be the carves. It's going to be this one. This is the Basarios tail. So we have to break it, and then we have to capture him. Meanwhile, let's upgrade things. Let's do another one of these. Get another Basarius going. Are there Basarios in here? Wasn't there one that had like two Basarios on it? Basarios and Volvedon in the arena. No, that'll be annoying. 
Wait, 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 wait. How about an event with the Vasarius? Is there an event with the Vasarius? Wait a minute. I was like, can I just go kill an Almudron? Can I just go kill a Basil Geese? That would be nice. No, you can't. Yeah, there's one with a Vasarius, but it has a bunch of monsters on it. Okay, so no, I have to do the minor problem. Dun, dun, dun. It's got to be this one. Let's do Super All Mother. Yeah, let's do that. That'll be fun. That'll be great. I'm sure we'll have a blast. Review copy. Okay, do I need... I don't think I need... I don't think I need verbs for this guy now. Alright. I haven't even put a thing here. Let's go! Stop it with the ledge nonsense. Look at him farting like that. Dude, hitting his tail is a goddamn nightmare. Ninety-two of them suckers too.
よくやってくれた。いざまいったか。How the hell am I gonna bust up that tail with a gun lens, huh? How am I gonna do that, team? Oh my god, I'm so glad that didn't fire. <laughs> I could have gone so wrong. Make it stop the torture, the pain. Is an exercise in futility. Man versus monster. Close. Oh, I wish I had bombs or something. Hey, I do have Wyvern Fire, which I'm gonna blow right on the tippy tip of his little tail there. Gonna give you a nice little Wyvern Fire up the ass! Bro, that didn't break? God, are you kidding me? You don't actually chop his off, do you? I'm pretty sure that this one just breaks. It doesn't really get chopped off. I thought it was a break. This is one of the most annoying tales to chop, then. Could 
probably bust it up easily with a long sword. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky with the palicos. <laughs> maybe they'll sneak a tail or two.
I'm never gonna let you go. I'm gonna continue chipping away at this tail, bro. Chipping away at this tail. Give me the tail. Just give it. You're gonna give me this tail, bro. It's gonna happen. Just accept it. Yeah! What did I say? What did I say? I told you you're gonna give me this tail. It's that simple. I hate this monster. I hate him. Oh. <sighs> Nothing. Nothing. Not one. Basarius always has the worst drop chances, dude. I always have problems getting Basarius gear. I always have problems getting Basarius gear. There's just something about this monster, dude. Listen, team, I need to take a break. Streamed a good long while. I'm pretty tired, didn't sleep. Need to rest a little bit. I'm gonna release a video right now. For those of you that are new to uh, Monster Hunter Rise, you should most definitely check it out. It is uh, one of my guides for starting out with the game. But for now, this is gonna be it. Thank you all very much hanging out with me i'll see you guys in the next one y'all stay strong stay safe peace out